Okay, how you all doing? Hopefully you'll be able to film this. Um, I always feel like these videos are the hardest to do. Um, when you find something that really does help, and it will help your golf, because it's helping mine, all to do with the takeaway. And um, obviously, uh, the takeaway in golf, everybody talks about it being the key. But what if I was to tell you that the actual takeaway itself, although you've got contact with the club and you're holding it in your hands, your grip has to be fundamentally sound. But really, nothing that you can do with your hands in the full swing or half swing or three-quarter swing is driven in the takeaway by your hands or arms or anything it actually starts from the ground and in a mysterious place for most people called the pivot mike austin talked about this in mike austin's compound pivot and only recently has it actually clicked with me and if it's taken me this long and the results of ball striking and knocking pins out of the golf course on every shot, I thought, got to try and share this with you. And it works on the 45 angle, but it works. I'll, I'll show you, try and show you. Okay, so we're here um, with this first, blend this in. The 45 that we keep talking about in golf, this is your hips at impact. The closest or closer you can get to 45 degrees at impact, depending on your flexibility um, and your matchup between the top half and lower half at impact will produce a flight line, for, i.e. this is a railway track line, right? So here's your feet, your 45 degree triangle and the ball and this is what I'm talking about. You've got to try and mirror depending on your flexibility, 45 degrees at the top of your backswing and then rotation through to give you the other 45. You may find that your triangle's not quite a perfect, it might be slightly, you know, your triangle size may differ. It also may differ on the body flexibility, but fundamentally, the railway line, flight line, so, Really, if you're looking at this from a golfer's perspective, this is us looking at it from uh, the drawing. But if you're up range, this is what you're looking at. So your feet are here, your head's here, your ball's here, your feet are in here somewhere. But this angle here is all to do with the 45 at impact with your hips being open. And then, but this is key as well at the back. And then obviously this is your flight line. So you are hitting the ball and your feet relative to the flight line. People talk about railway track lines, but this is the key 45, um, this triangle. So I'm going to show you why. And now the compound pivot is right here. So let's show you. Okay, so the first thing to note uh, when you try to film anything like this is how difficult it is to actually film because the compound pivot is in plain sight but it is very difficult to to show so how i like to feel it is make your hands heavy make two fists and we'll drop them to your side until your arms and hands are free falling and hanging so they feel like they're not connected, they're just hanging and you're feeling their weight. And people obviously talk about the pivot being basically walking, okay? And this is obviously the back swing. This is your forward swing. You can see that matches in with a triangle. Now, if you're struggling with your takeaway, and I did for long and hard enough because I would instigate my takeaway with my arms and my shoulders right nothing was happening here because i think as golfers we're all told resist 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 
build up the coil, all this type of stuff, right? I so show you, that ends up with an inside takeaway and then an over the top move, rather than what I'm going to show you, which is bizarre, but it goes back to the video about footballers and why they're so good at golf, because if your ball's coming towards you and you're kicking it, right? So, think of it as a kick. Get your hands and arms heavy and then kick this back. Right? Watch that again there. It's nothing's happening here at all, but all I'm doing is allowing my body mechanics to kick that back, and as you can see, everything kicks at the same time, right? So it's kick that back, you can actually when you're learning this, I know you'll say a lot of pros might keep their feet on the ground now, but they know how to keep their feet on the ground and get in there to that position, right? Now, if I put my foot down, oh yeah, I know I ain't got the flexibility. Oh, I can feel it. I ain't got the flexibility to get into that position, right? I, I just, I couldn't. I couldn't do that, but I can do this, and I've been doing it on the golf course. So I've just been thinking, kick to my toe. This allows you and creates all this space here and here to be up here with the club behind you. I'll show you that this way. So get your hands heavy, and then think about kicking the ball that way Right, there you go, there you are there. Now watch what happens when I'm at the top of my backswing here. Right, obviously. Wow. Now, because your heel's up, it's got to come back down. And as it comes back down, this happens here. And you get you get this happening, then you get that happening, and it's bang, it's a mirror image. The results are amazing. Try it for yourself. You would think as well, when you do this, that your head would move in a dramatic fashion, like a big sway, but it's not, because the compound pivot allows you to move your knees together, but actually, if anything, you're moving this whole way here, so from there, bang, and your 45s match. Closest you can, or closer you can get to that, the more efficiency you'll get in your golf swing and the more, as I've found, you will be this position here with a club behind you, which gives you the ability to plant your foot down and you can see there, you're now swinging slightly inside to out and uh, all of that, right, all of that, isn't driven by the shoulders, the hands, the arms, it's driven by this. So we'll step in so you can really see it, because I want you to understand that this is all the changes, where did I get that dust from? All the changes I've made is the lower half. Shoulders, shoulder width, feet, feet, pointing out away a wee bit and then from there get your hands heavy now you can practice this in the house like I did and basically all you're doing is stay bang and then look your shoulders are already you, you haven't actually physically turned your shoulders you've turned your back to the target that's a full um, shoulder swing your hips and everything are pointing this way and then when you reroute, this happens, bang, and your hands are leading. Uh, what a, an amazing, powerful uh, manoeuvre. And I've only recently really uh, cottoned on and uh, grasped with both hands. Wow, this is what Mike Austin's compound pivot was really all about. The reason I can't do it is I don't have the flexibility if I do it like this with the alignment stick I just, I can do it like that 
like I say to you, oh, I have not got the flexibility to keep my foot down through, I don't know, lack of mobility possibly, or maybe lack of stretching over the years. I don't know what it is, but I can I can do it when I, when I do that, and I know I'm in the right position. It gives my body all this room here to take the club up, and then as you're coming back down, elbows in at the side, Ala Hogan, it's running along your rib cage. Everything gears towards um, sweet as a nut strike with every club in the bag. And uh, the distances that you're hitting it, well, I'm hitting it further. Club head speed, everything, but I'm not swinging it any harder, it's just more efficient. So if we have this here, and I and I kick it, look, so I kick it, look how straight that is. See that? Watch this, so I'm not moving my heart, arms, my hands, my shoulders, all I'm doing is kicking my lower half and bang. I'm now, from there, I just take it, it's just a simple, I'm here, so it's just a simple, it's here. And then from there, it's, and then obviously up to the finish. It is the loose, and this is a thing. When I say it's loose, it's the massive muscles that are controlling this. There's no small muscles. So, things to watch out for. Do not get loosey with the, with the wrists. The wrists do fold, a la the Mike Austin fold, where the club face should be in with a spine angle. But if you get a bit loose with the hands, you can, you can really uh, open yourself up to, well, hooks. So if, you, if you're finding yourself hooking it, that is a good sign. It just means you need to, for want of a better word, firm up your grip on the club slightly so that your wrists are releasing this way, this way, right? Uh, because you may have, with your old swing, have been compensating by flicking that club face, trying to square it, whereas you don't need to do it with this swing. It's a hinge with your hands you need. It's like a slap, bang, right? Slap, and uh, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, but really, this is gonna major league change your game. Um, this move here is just so, and it's so like, bang, and it's like a bang, and everything is like moving, look, my shoulder goes straight down, this one goes straight up, all because of that, and then from there, like the top of the backswing, this happens here, and it's a delay, and it gives you the, right, and oh, man. It's taken so long to find it, and obviously, you can check your angles on the 45. Again, it'll depend on your flexibility. The reason everybody goes off on golf is at some point, you've got to time the top and the lower half moving together. But when you do the compound pivot like that, you are moving your lower half and it moves your top half. Your hands and arms haven't even moved. And you're in a position where now, when you're, whoop, you're through before you've instantaneous, no thought, see the shot walk in, bang, hit it. And uh, results will follow, basically. Uh, you will be finding a golf game rather than trying to manufacture or build a golf game. I think that's the right terminology I'm using. So hopefully this add-on is throwing a bit of uh, light into what all these other videos, thousands of them, try and explain to you. But what I'm saying to you is if you've got the golf club in your hands, in the house, because it's a not 
a great day. I'm just thinking, have I got enough room to do this? Probably not there. Maybe there. So if I if I hold the club lightly, but I just kick it there, <laughs> it's it's like such a eye opener. I've not physically moved um, my hands and my arms. You can see that there. Look, the return. Bang! Well, I knew I was going to do that. Right. So bang! It goes straight back. That's the thing. Like it's really straight back when you do it. You'll try it for yourself, and you'll be amazed because it's like bang, and it's it's straight with a club pointing at your spine angle and that move there bang just with that you haven't moved this you haven't moved that it's like a reaction from ground right because if you go from there to there <laughs> uh, you can see just how like powerful that little kick is because I've physically moved that club from the ball to there over seven or eight feet Right? We're just moving my knee from there to there. And then when I move it back, bang! I mean, you get incredible ball speed. And your path improves. Everything about your golf swing improves, including, like, you wait and see how far you get distance-wise. Works for every club. I just can't believe it's so simple. It's almost so simple. Keep it stupid simple. That's what they say. Keys are, though, got to have a fundamental good grip. I use the interlock over that. It's got to be good. It's got to be good because when you kick it like that, you can check face angle's got to be on the same angle as, as your spine angle. You can check that down the line. And then from there, bang! It's unbelievable what happens. When everything's going. Uh, fantastic, right? Can't say enough on it. Um, I think you'll see the videos that are coming and you'll actually see it, the difference. Um, so thanks for watching. The ad revenue here goes to charity. So Macmillan, Help the Heroes, Shelter UK. The ad revenue generated, all the money goes to charity. So thanks for watching. I know it's been, well, a video that's in the house and you know, it's not the greatest, it isn't the greatest to try and show you how it all works. But, I mean, you can demo this, you can just demo that, look, look. I mean, it's just like your hands and arms, make them heavy, and then just kick, and then just kick, and then just kick. I mean, literally, you have broke the golf swing down to, like, something that gets you to there, and then look how much you've got, like, you just have to go, oh well. I just need to take the club back a little. Or your flexibility might be, well, really, that's it. I mean, Ram doesn't swing much more than that. And then, bang. You know what I mean? So it's that simple. Keep it stupid simple. Can't get any more simple than this. You will knock this. You will knock this video until you try it yourself. And you've got to be relaxed, a little bit of tension, almost... In the, in the grip side, you've got to have tension, like you were holding a toothpaste tube in your hand. Just tight enough that the toothpaste is just coming out the top, but not coming out, shooting out. So just enough tension that the toothpaste comes out the end of the tube just a little. That's how much tension you want. And that tension stays all the way through the swing. I mean... Ball striking results around Lanark, I was amazed. Uh, and this all ties in and makes sense with all the other golf fundamentals that everybody talks about. Railway lines, 45s, 45 angles, the way the club moves on plane, the way everything works. Backs up 100% every bit of coaching and formulas that people have come up with golf. Um, and Mike Austin's compound pivot. Which, for some people, is it's like... It's, I'm trying to explain what I think it's like. 
I actually said on the video that I feel like I'm going to say a ball is there. I'm thinking I'm just going to kick that ball, right? It's like that when you're playing football. It's coming towards you, but you're off angle a wee bit. So it's like, bang, kicking it, right? And then that's on the way back. So the ball's coming in here. And on the way forward, you're thinking, right, I'm going to kick it. And then you're kicking it. That's forward. That's how footballers pick up golf so good. Once you get this part driving your swing, oh, shut boy, man, everything else just, well, it's an afterthought because the golf swing is only, what is it, one, it's less than a second. It's like one second total. It's like half a second here, half a second it's gone. You try and tell me how much conscious thought or conscious movement control you have of that. It's like me going for that and putting it back down. What did I have control of or conscious thought of? I didn't have any whatsoever. Start with the, your only two points of contact with this world are your feet on the ground. So just let that and gravity bang and whoo, you are going to be amazed how good this is. Uh, and yes, you will get some funny looks. Yes, people say, ah, it looks a wee bit quirky, but no one is going to flame and deny the ball flight results or the distance you get or just hitting fairways and greens. You're going to just shock yourself at how easy you make golf. And your playing partners will be mystified as to how you're doing it because they will not work out what you're doing. I guarantee you, unless you've watched this video, you'll be watching golf swings now going, you, you're now looking at a golf swing in the right place. Not here, here and here. That's the only place you need to watch for a golf swing. Here and here, and maybe here. That's it, you've cracked it. We've basically gone full circle about a hundred times on this channel, but this time, we've cracked it.